Kembo, Kembo, Hallelujah. Betuabu Banabetu, Betuabu. Ah, Matonda Masaka Jila, Tatanzambi for this day. Uh, I'm coming to you once again with another message. Praying that the Most High will give me this message to the Mwandan Semi. This will be a, a very uh, deep, deep message. Uh, it's going to be a continuation of a topic I've done uh, some months ago to further conclude this scenario of how Satan deceives the whole world and what that looks like and how it's hidden. And so well, I've got to pull up one more thing here. And why the world why the world is the way it is. Let's see. Come on to Oh, First, I want to give honor. And I want to say also greetings to all the non-Bantus as well, for all the people scattered across the earth. Um, this is my message today. It's in a preparation for this time as we move forward more and more to the to the flipping prophesied by Simon Kimbangu, also through Simon Toko, Simon Pari and other people who have mentioned this truth. Uh, Pastor Mello, I wanna say, Brother Yanata, honor, Brother Chiba Malonga, Masia Kadima, I wanna say Sister Sarah Singer, Sister Charmaine, uh, Masa, Ma Michael Masa, Makaya Nzambi, uh, Manzambi Zola, Brother K. Faslandu, I even still honor the Issachar couple because they still gave us knowledge. Uh, all of those, I know that we have our differences, but once again, the Mosiah will also be dealing with that as well. Um, I want to say, I give honor to Tatanzambi and Pungo Tulendo for all that he is doing. I want to give honor to Isaiah Congo, Kuswa Congo, the one that called Jesus Christ, all he is doing, the Moandan Semi that the world calls the Holy Spirit. Also, uh, I want to give thanks and honor to the Most High sent us the teachings of the child of Revelations 12 to wake us up as the Banabetu, the Bakongos. The, the seed of Dawidi, the children of da, uh, Yokuba. And this is going to be once again, and I, I know this, I hope this video isn't cut out because, <laughs> you know, this is going to be something that's going to be touching a nerve with a lot of people. So this is addressing how has Satan deceived the whole world? And for what purpose? Okay, uh, I wanted to look up one more thing. Sorry, one second. Mm -hmm. 
Second Peter two and four. All right. All right, let's start with the scripture. Revelation chapter three. We're gonna get into this and then I'll jump to Revelation 12 and nine. Talk about why are we all so asleep in these times and why do we think the way we think and how does it affect us and why there are those who can see it and those who cannot. And those who that they think we can see it, why they think we're crazy. Um, something else. Sorry, I thought I had them all pulled up. Thing. All right, so let's far start with this. And this is something that, you know, this is what the father of lies. We know as Satani, Satani, Satanus, it was by so many different names, Lucifer. This is the, this, this is what is the um, basis for what we like to call the Babylonian system, for what we call the deceivers, the matrix, whatever you have. Um, it says, if you tell a big enough lie and tell it frequent enough, it will be believed. Another one says, if you tell a lie that's big enough and you tell it often enough, people will believe you're telling the truth, even if you're just saying it's total crap. And this is going to be why Satan deceives the whole world, because a lot of the things that people think is reality is exactly what that last statement is. And there are those who actually live by it that don't tell you because it's a sworn secret, secret to those who know. So we're going to start with Revelation 3 again. And unto the angel of church of Sardis write, these things that he that has the seven spirits of Tatanzambi and the seven stars. And we know Brother Kephas did a wonderful, powerful video about the seven spirits of Yah and what those are. And this is why we keep trying to tell you there's a difference between being spiritist and spiritual. Uh, one is gonna be where you actually base everything off of what you see and not what you can't see, or you say that there is a God, is a God somewhere, we believe in a heaven, but do you actually see it? Or do you always say, well, I won't see it, reveal itself until you die? Or do you actually see it while you were here in the flesh walking in on earth? There's a difference. It says here, I know thy works, that thou has a name, that thou livest and art dead. Again, I know thy works, but thou has a name that thou livest and art dead. So there's a name that they're using as living, but is dead. Okay. This is common in many religions. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before Tatanzambi. Okay. So what we're trying to say is we need to bring back the link, the spirituality and get rid of the carnality is what they're saying. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. And now that we know that this has actually happened, People don't know it happened because it was exactly like what he said. He came like a thief. And those don't even know that this was meant he was coming incognito. Yes. 
thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. So again, this is what Masa talks about. Many of us Bantus, who the Most High has chosen, will have defiled our garments, but will eventually become worthy. Once again, he that overcometh us, the same shall be clothed in white raiment and will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before Tatanzam being before the Maliki of the angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. What the spirit says unto the, and it's really assemblies, as we know the proper translation of the Kikongo and the Bantu languages. And unto the angel of the, of the assembly of Philadelphia write these things, say that the holy, that, that he that is holy, he that is true, which we know the word truth is Congo, and he that hath the key of Dawidi, and Master talks about this all the time, you have to have the key. You have to have the key. And we're going to show you how many people have given away their key and don't even know it. He that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, so no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and it has kept my word, and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satani, or Satan, who say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast, which thou hast no man to take the crown. Him that overcometh, will, will I make a pillar in the temple of Zambi, and shall, shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of the Tatanzambi, and the name of the city of the Most High, which is in New Salama which is a new Solomon, which cometh down out of the heaven from Tatanzambi, and I will write upon my name, he that has an ear, let him hear, the spirit says unto the assemblies. And unto the angel of the Maliki of the church of assembly of the Laodiceans, right. These says to the Ingeta, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of creation of Tatanzambi, I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I work that thou wert cold or hot. So, when, <clears throat> so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not thou art wretched and miserable, poor, blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou may be rich in white raiment that thou mayst be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, which is not true, it's already happening, because this is, a, this is the Catholicism in actually Western Christianity. So I meant to put this up. All right, so how does Satan deceive the whole world and why does he do it? Let's go to Second Peter. Oh, I didn't put it down. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 6 and 3. This will be out of the Hallelujah Scriptures. I'm going to do this version. This is a little bit more clarity. Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if you are judged the world, are you not competent to judge trivial cases? Do you not know that you will judge angels? 
how much more the things of this life. Okay. This is one of the reasons why many people do not understand how the deception has taken place because verse three is a biggie because the angels of course you will be judging are the fallen ones so it was very important for them for you to realize there's only a certain group of people on this planet that has the authority and will be given the authority to judge angels and the most high has made this very clear throughout all the scriptures that it is a house of Yisraeli or Israel. However, okay. Not these people. This is Revelations 3 and 9. So that's like, I started with you, I said, you tell a lie, you tell it often, you tell it big enough, you tell it as frequent as possible, no matter how, even though it's a load of crap. This is what is the purpose of what these rabbis have done. So let's go to Revelations 12. Okay, these are the seed of Japheth, mostly in Esau. They are not the seed of Jacob, but they have taught you that they are because of what I just read to you about judging angels, because the synagogue of Satan was created for the purpose of not having the angels get judged by Jacob, which is what 9-11 is about. Nine is, this, is the number for the new Jerusalem and 11 is for the 11 tribes that are scattered to the four corners of the earth because the Most High did not divorce Judah. Hosea chapter two. All right, so. And the great sign in the heavens, Zulu of the women clad with the sun and with the moon under her feet and on her head a crown of 12 stars. These 12 stars represent the 12 tribes of Isolele. And being pregnant, she cried out in labor and pain to give birth. Now this is what Pastor Miller has made very clear. This is the Mwanda and Semi. This is not the Virgin Mary. This is not what Catholicism has taught you. This is the Holy Spirit. And another sign was seen in the Zulu and see a great fire red dragon having set in heads, 10 horns, seven crowns on the heads and it still draws a third of the stars. So the third of the stars are the Maliki, they're angels, but you have been taught by education. The reason why is that, oh, they're just balls of gas burning up in the sky. Okay, once again, if you tell if you tell a lie and you tell it often and you tell it as much as possible it will be believed as truth even though it's a load of crap and out of the mouth of the serpent spewed water like a river after the woman to cause her to be swept away by the river so what we're showing you here is that lucifer has the ability to create uh, delusions okay he has the ability to do things to make you see what is not there, okay? And the dragon was enraged with the woman. He went to fight with the remnant of her seed, those guarding the commands of Tatanzambi and possessing the witness of Yesiah, Hamas, Hamasiah. And this is why Masa has shown us there's gonna be more than two witnesses because there are witnesses who are bearing or possessing the witness of Kuswakongo that the world calls Jesus Christ, because we now know he is a Mukongo, a Bakongo, he is a Bantu, he is a Chuluba. Okay. How do we know? Let's go back to Sopanya, Zephaniah 3 and 9. Sopanya. Let's go to Zopania. Many people are familiar with this. Let's see 
Okay. And then I'm going to also go into. Ah, oh, come on. Where is it? This book has it out of order because it says it was in the improper order. So they they kind of changed it around. I got to get used to it still. All right, let's just go to this. Zopanya. So Panya, Zephaniah, three, let's go. All right, let's start from verse six. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I have made their streets waste that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man there that is none inhabitant. This is going to be the, this is actually going to be the movie Greenland or what you've seen with um, 2012 and other things like that. It's in, in Isaiah chapter two. This is this verse right here. I said, surely thou wilt fear me, thou wilt receive instruction. See, this is what we keep trying to tell you. I said, surely thou wilt fear me, thou wilt receive instruction. So those of us who have truly received the, the, the fear of Tatanzambi and Pungutulendu, of the Most High, Yah, Yapowa, Yahweh, okay, those of us, you know, who are, are learning the Bantu truth, we are receiving the instructions, okay? This is why in Christianity, they're waiting on the Messiah to come they're doing their part, what they're doing in their churches, but they don't understand in the days of Noah, you have to be given instructions just like Noah. Okay, what does that mean? It means you have to be with the true Holy Spirit in order to receive the instructions on how to prepare for the days of Noah, period. Okay, so their dwelling shall not be, cut. see it says here, so their dwelling should not be cut off whosoever I punish them. So here's what's going to happen. And this is exactly what's going on right now. This is how Satan has deceived the whole world. By creating a world where cities are meant to be seen as, um, let's go to it. I think I, pulled, I made it, I just pulled it up here. Oh, come on. I there's a way to move this. I still learn how to do this. My video panel. Okay. It still comes down. Okay. So hold on, let's see. I'll get to that here in a minute. All right, so let's see. What do I do with the cities? So once again, th this right here is the greatest weapon against those who have the knowledge so you look at this building, you see these churches, you go on Sunday, you go to different churches to learn. And the, the goal it claims to you is to become more co closer to the creator and to God and all that, that they teach. Again, you tell a big enough lie, you tell it often, you tell it frequently, people will believe it. The role of the assemblies of which no one seems to really understand because secret societies are in control of the system, which we now call the Babylonian system. And the saints that you're referring, that he's referring to, 
okay, are looking are looking like this. These are the saints, down to people. Cause uh, um, people who are from the lineage of Yakuba through Abana and Saka and Yakubi, Kubkuba, bound to people. Because as I said, we're going to go to Zephaniah. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says the Most High Tatanzambi, until the day that I raise up, that I raise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms and pour upon them mine indignation. So he's bringing. This is why he's bringing all the Euro, the European based nations, um, the heathenistic nations that he sees together as he gets ready to pour out his indignation. And he's done this before. It's repetitive. If we try to tell you, scripture can happen more than once. We haven't been conditioned that we don't understand that it's going to happen. When you speak to, to the Moana and Semi of the Most High, like I said, this is why Satan has deceived the whole world because as I read, we can judge the angels. The problem is if, if Christianity was in fact the belief that needs to be followed, we should be done already. We should be done already. If you're the, supposed to be the people who judge angels and judge nations and sit with the Messiah and do all these different things that you've been taught, we should it should already be over. How many Christians are there? Two billion? Okay. The world has actually heard the 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 that the Christianity from, from corner to corner. Uh, the kingdom of the most high's belief is not Christianity. And that's why what Masa is saying, now will come the truth from the people from Jeremiah 16 that said we have inherited lies because the people I showed you, the Khazars, they told a lie, a big enough lie, made you believe it because they know that who the real Jews are. They have even admitted it on, on one or two occasions in the secret because they, but because they work for Lucifer, and the fallen angels, they will never tell you this in the public until the most high forces the issue. And this is what's going to happen. For all the earth shall de be devoured with fire, fire of my jealousy. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Why is he jealous? Because you're worshiping other gods. You're practicing paganism. Okay. Many of his own people are doing that. Let's see if I can. So like, this, this, this is the one I was looking for earlier. We think that this city stuff is going to last forever, that it is OK. And I just read you in Zapania and Zephaniah. No, it is not. Let's see. Uh, let me get... So one of the things I was going to share with you is okay, so these are our pagans, pagan pagans, as Makar Masa likes to say, because the ah in our language is, makes it pagans. Okay, P many people don't even realize it in their very churches and their synagogues and then their um, um, what do you call them, <laughs> uh, mosques that you're still practicing pagan paganism because the system of religion is in itself a paganism belief, okay? This is why the Most High says, you know not what you worship, and Isaiah said this, for salvation is of the Yahudi. Not Christianity, not Judaism, not Islam, but the Banabetu, the people of Yisolele, who are supposed to be acting pure Christ-like or Bantu Banduela when receiving Hamasia and not like those who are practicing Judaism right now and don't even know it and still are. And even in Bantu, people are doing the same thing, that the law, the law, the law, the law, 
when it says those who are in the spirit, you have the law because the spirit will teach you the law. The spirit will guide you to the law. The spirit will help you do the right feast days if they're supposed to. Like I keep trying to tell people, you're in Daniel 7, 25. Okay, the calendar is so modified and jacked up that you don't even realize that it's all that where the false messiah has done so. Because we're in our captivity, we have to have the feast days restored through New Jerusalem, which is what the Most High intends to do. And many of these things right now are spiritual. Okay, we can still keep the law, statutes, and commandments. How? The correct way through the Mwanda and Semi. So there are those who claim to have the Mwanda and Semi at, at full capacity and do not. Because if they did, okay, let's get into it. And Master talks about this all the time. They're going to go to Yokana. One. Okay, let me first finish this up. For then I will turn to the people a pure language. Okay, the pure language is not English. The pure language is not Italian. The pure language is not French. The pure language is not Yiddish. It's definitely not Aramaic, okay? There are people who actually speak the pure language of the Most High today. Kongololo. Hence the reason why we say we are Bakongo. Okay, I had this argument with a person who said that she is a Hamitic Jew. The Ham, the descendants of Ham are not Shem by blood. You can be mixed as we are now, but if you are not mixed, you are a convert. You are converted. You are not the bloodline. And I will get to that here in a minute. Like I said, Satan can deceive the whole world because he knows who are the people that can judge him and the fallen angels. From beyond the rivers of Catiopia, this is Catiopia, but it's Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, which is what Angola means, diaspora, the dispersed ones, shall bring mine offering. So those who came out of the middle of Africa, let me pull up this map. Hold on. I'll get to this in a minute. Okay. Go. Sorry. So Sorry, I know I'm going across and I'm like, where is it? Where did it go? So what I'm gonna show you, sorry, it disappeared, I think. I shouldn't have. The land of Ethiopia or Ethiopia. Come on. Hold on. Okay, this is what was known as Ethiopia. And I'll prove it to you because they destroyed the maps because they knew that they need to tell a big enough lie.
All right, so here we go. I'll bring it up for you. So Panya, three to nine. From beyond the river of Ethiopia. So now you have, and I'll enlarge it. Zangabar, you have Lower Guinea, Luango is here, Congo. You have Upper Guinea, you have Katiopia, this is Ethiopia. Uh, let's see, this is going to be likely beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. So you have Ethiopia here. Here's the Sudan. This is why we try to tell you that the, um, what do you call it? This is As, uh, Asanaya, Asanya, Asanaya. They try to tell you that we come from Nubia, which is, this is, this is the Kushites. This is the, Can actually, actually, these are the Canaanites. Okay. This is the Philistines here. See, Somalis, this is the Philistines. Okay. This is who we were fighting. Okay. Sudan, Kong, Kong, Congo. Okay, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. This is the land. This is actually Abana's land over here. Abraham. This is the portion that was given to Nsemi, Shem. This is also this is Hamite, Hamitic land. This is what we inherited. This is why I tried to tell this lady last night. We we were given the land of Canaan as Bantus, Banabetu, and this is why they tell a big lie to say we were up here. As you can see, <laughs> look at this map. What is this region now called? This is Asia. This is Mecca, Medina. So this is actually during the time when Islam was flourishing. Look what they wrote here. Syria, which we know that comes from the God, the false Babylonian God, A-S-S-U-R, and not Asher, Asi, Asi, who was, who was actually a descendant of Shem. Okay. There's no Palestine right there. None. Where is it? This is why the Palestinian people keep saying, you were never here. Israel. There is no Israel right there. It would be written in, hello? They would put Israel right there if it was that important. And this is an ancient map. There is no Israel. Hello? Or people say, oh, well, their land was taken from them and they didn't know. There is nothing there. It doesn't even say Palestine. It says Syria. And the Most High even said that he would make a, he, a, a, he would make a ruin out of Damascus because they moved it. It's a lie. Damascus was down here. <laughs> Technically, the Damascus that's down here is ruined. But they changed the name. It's down in this region, Damascus. The, the true Damascus. <laughs> this is where they would have had Yusolele, right here. They made, as you can see, there is no River Jordan. <laughs> where is it? That's why Masa said it was man-made. There's no River Jordan right here. None. Now they're going to do this pop-up version where they say, oh, yeah, Jerusalem is there. People, this is a lie. Okay? This is what the Ashkenazi people did. They put Palestine in there 
okay? But this is not, this is not the land of the Philistines or the Canaanites, okay? This is, this is when the deception was becoming evident. It says, this is why Satani said, you got to tell a lie, a big enough lie, and people will believe it. Okay, because it was Isolele or Isaela, not Israel. Boom, Gabon, all this area. These people speak the language of the Congo River. These, because the Congo River, these people were speaking the language of Tatanzambi and Pungo, the land of the Most High. So, why do we not understand or why do we not believe anything that's being said in this awakening? Because we have been conditioned to believe that Satan comes in this form. Okay. Everybody says, yeah, Satan is this person type of being. He's this wicked thing. You see him in the movies, they always dress him up. Oh, because like they know that the one thing that's very um, much a um, a thing. Sorry, I guess I'm hiding my picture. Sorry. I just wanted to get you to see this. This is very much the way he's supposed to look in the child of what people think, demons, wickedness. What you fail to understand is he can come like this. These are business people. He can come like these people, politicians. He can come as a pastor. Many people don't know that. He can come as a, an, as a coach. He can come as, a, as old people. He can come as young people. And he can come as, in this form. Now let's get into it. And I laid open the book of the law, which is the Tula, that goes in our hearts, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Who are the heathens? I just showed you, the pagans, the pagans. These people. The history of Europe is filled with this. These are the Druids. They did not disappear, people. They are in your churches. They are in your... Uh, um, Moss, they are in your uh, Hollywood, they are in your, um, uh, what do you call them, synagogues, all of that. You think they disappeared, they went, they're, they're these people. Let's see, where is it? Right here. <laughs> this is the Bilderbergs, secret societies. All of the people that control the world that you live in today, business partners, judges, um, lawyers, uh, policemen, um, your neighbor down the street, the Hollywood actors and actresses, the politicians, the businessmen, the, the religious order, the military, this is where they went. That's why they're able to control what you learn here. It's important, as I said in the previous video about mind control, in order to confuse or to destroy or to manipulate a generation of people in order to hide them from the true knowledge that exists, you must control what they know. The first tool that was ever done to do so, okay, it was the newspaper. 
when the 1800s and 1700s, the printing press, the newspaper, telegraph wires, it then transitioned to the radio and then became the television. They can script so many different things on TV, even real news, supposedly, so that you can actually believe. They can script the sports. Yes, they do manipulate it. This is why many of your professional athletes, as Masa said, will be in cahoots with, with fallen angels to receive superpower, gen, uh, you know, abilities, supernatural because you can get into supernatural abilities illegally through secret society mysticism, as we call the Kabbalah or Jewish mysticism. You know, you've heard singers say, it wasn't me singing, it was uh, the, the, uh, somebody else was with me. You know, there was an interview with Denzel when he came out and said the truth that when he did the movie Training Day, he said, that wasn't me. I had to actually take on a different persona in order to perform that particular um and he actually based that character off of a real police officer in the lapd from what i understand now so that just goes to show you okay so now you understand you can you can be bound to and still be a police uh an issue for uh, uh, uh create um dilemmas for the society so why am I saying this? Because the problem is the most high knows that he specifically did something to a group of people because of their disobedience. But the world wasn't supposed to be allowed to know this from those who were trying to control the narrative. So you had to make sure you told the biggest lie and made people to believe it. This is why you get people who are commandments and other people that think that the Bible was only a, a recent fabrication when that's not true. You also get them believing in the sciences that are being taught when that is also a manipulation of the fallen angels. Okay, the Most High has told us, let's go, and no marvel, let's go to um, 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if he ministers also, if his ministers, his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Hello, they're trying to show you that you can have a preacher standing in the pulpit that has been transformed into a minister of righteousness who says whose ending shall be according to their words. And that's why I'm saying just because you pack a church full of members doesn't mean that you've achieved. Let's see where it is. Like I said, Satan can come old, young. Let's see, where is it? Sorry. Matthew 7, 16. Therefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. You say, oh, well, my pastor, he feeds the poor, and he does this, and he does that, and he does that. But as, Ma, as Nabi Kefa has put, faith is a frequency. Satan, what did I just say? Can masquerade as an angel of light. So he can act like he's a do-gooder. His ministers can act like they're do-gooders. The people around him can act like they're do-gooders. But they're not accomplishing the will of the Most High. They will tell you they are. Oh, we're, we're doing like Jesus did. We're, we're feeding the blind. We're, we're, we're taking care of all those who are in need. People, they did that in the pagan days with Rome, with uh, uh, Greece, with um, Egypt, all these different things. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're coming to the kingdom. 
That's why Yesiah said, love your brother and love your enemy. Don't He said, don't the Gentiles do these? They love their own family? He said, if you've been taught me, he said, you've been taught to love your neighbor, but to hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemy. And he was talking to Banabetu. That's why they mocked him when in the movie Planet of the Apes, he said, ape shall not kill ape. That's not talking about the apes in the trees. Let me show you how this is what I'm talking about. Uh, here you go. People don't even realize that when scientists are talking about these people here, these images of these ancient people, okay, see right here? This is, an, this is how they used to see us. Right here. This is a black man and this is a white black woman walking down the street. Ape shall not kill ape. Mockery. Okay. This is this is the mockery of Kuswa Congo. Isaya uh, uh, Congo. Kuswa, as Pastor Miller has broken down, in the Latin becomes Caesar. It means anointed. Okay. Here's the famous rendition of the old days, the planet of the apes. It says Black Lives Matter actually defended because Planet of the Apes is copying his dress style. <laughs> no, you're copying theirs, and it's actually a mockery of us anyway. Okay, the gorillas stand for Congo. Congolo, Congololo. That's where you find the silverbacks. Okay, the gorillas. You actually had um, a, a rap group one time that did a, that you had the gorillas and you had the, um, the gorillas in the mist is what uh, Ice Cube made a, a song called Gorillas in the Mist. And he knew he was talking about us. Okay. This, see here. Totally looks like .com. Hello, and in Hollywood and in the upper upper levels of the rituals and the secret societies, this is exactly what they do. I actually saw um, on YouTube where they showed a basketball player that was basically a giant gorilla running up and down the court, dribbling the ball. And I try to tell my grandson, I said, that is actually meant to, to mock us because that's how they see us. So, see here? This is what they see our women as. And this is, uh, this is coming from the Khazars, especially the rabbis. This is how the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacists, okay, we are apes to them. Sadly, our people who in the rituals, they go along with this. Okay, as the mockery. Will they ever admit it? Yeah, it's gonna come out. It's gonna be exposed, you'll see. Right here, here you go. This is where it comes from, the ancient days. The comparison, oh, our, our, our skull is like the apes. You see, you even have fought certain fallen angels that said that they created black people from apes. <laughs> Again, deception. This is the guy that got upset. About his attire. War of the Planet of the Apes. This is this is actually what is going on right now. That they're that's that Esau mocked in the movie series that was recent. Then they did it again to show the world that the black people are about to take over. And along with their savior, and that we bamboozled you because Satan deceives the whole world. 
Okay. Let me not go too far because sometimes if you don't do these safe search things, they pop up. And that's why I hate nowadays you can get caught up in all kind of grubbers that they put on here because they mix it in here. Okay. So what I'm trying to show you is they try to say, oh, well, humans evolved from apes. No, the, the, the evolution, this is actually mocking the days of Noah, okay, is what this is mocking with what they're doing. The, the, the secret societies, they know this. See, now, and they made a big deal out of this one because they said, oh, we're mocking Obama. You don't understand. In their rituals, they're already mocked like this. You just don't know. Okay, and this is actually... Um, <laughs> the fact that it says star sun, the, the see the drugs come through so many different things. I just showed you secret societies, they, so they're just putting the reality in your face. Okay, so what is this? So, why, what am I saying? Okay, so you know, let's go to Acts 1 and 8. This is going to show you how Satan truly does deceive those who think they are in the truth or think they know or think they have an understanding of the scriptures. Oh, that's a lot of tokoes. Big, big assembly. People don't realize that Simon Toko's following is a lot bigger than people know. The former treatise have I made, O Theopolis, and all that say Yusu began both to do and teach until the day he, which was taken up after he through the Mondan Semi had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, whom he had chosen, whom he had chosen. He still does it that way. You don't just get to become an apostle. He will still choose you to whom he has also showed himself alive. This is why people will say, oh, I see Jesus. But if you see, I'm telling you, if you see the white version, I've seen the white version. He transferred into a dragon. So I knew it wasn't him. Okay. The darkest, 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 darkest black man is the true image of Lucifer now. But, you know, after his past, that's why I keep trying to tell people, you cannot say that Esau or the spirit of Satan or whatever is, is, the, is the white man, because our own people can also be Esau. When we rebel against the Most High, we become Esau. Okay. To him, he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the Most High, Congo, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Salama, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said that you have heard of me, for John, Yokana truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Mondan Semi, or the Holy Spirit, many days hence. And we know Toko had this happen in 1949, okay? We actually, um, Yanata showed how you will hear a noise. You will know when the Mwanda has come upon you. You will know when things are happening because you will experience certain things. When therefore we're coming together, they asked him many saying, Tata, saying, Tata, wilt thou at this time, or Buana, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Isolele? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has put in his own power, Ngolo. But ye shall receive power, Ngolo, after the morning semi has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Salama, Jerusalem, all of you in there in Samaria, and the uh, uttermost part of the earth. Now, what is it saying? You cannot be a witness 
of Kuswa Congo, Yusu Christo, Jesus Christ, whatever you want to, however you want to call it, without the Holy Spirit. This is why they have to, this is why they tell you a big enough lie, big enough that you believe it, because see, the problem is, you don't understand, the, the purpose of the assemblies is to do exactly what they ask. Will thou at this time restore the kingdom of Isolele, Israel? Which, of course, this is why Satan had this uh, thicket in the 1948 agreement with the uh, Rothschilds and all that, where they established a kingdom called Israel. Which, if you actually go to the book of Hosea, when Israel or Isolele is restored, there is no more war. There is only, so how, you have now 73 years of a king, a place called Israel and Palestine. When has the world been at peace since then? Because according to the true prophecy of the restoration of the most High's people, the world will be at peace. He says, I will break the bow of the sword of, of the plow. You will turn, break your weapons into plowshares. You will turn your uh, weapons into pruning hooks. There will be no more war. Well, that's not the case right now in Palestine and Israel. So obviously somebody's lying. Obviously somebody's lying. And said unto them, this is not for you know the times of the seasons, okay? And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, received him out of their sight. Okay. So again, receive power, go alone. And there are people who have had this very thing. They can, okay, let's do the, the scripture. Uh, I think it's um, one second. more than for me you shall do all right so let's go to john 412 yokana This is why the Mosai says prepare for war now because the, it's time to deceive. Wait, what did it say? Oh, 14, 12, sorry. We'll come back to this 14, 422. So a lot of people went to church today on Sunday saying they got Holy Ghost power that they have. They say, oh, hallelujah, Jesus, thank you for all singing and going on, but cannot manifest the power of Jesus Christ, of the Most High. That's how you know the Most High will know you because there are certain things that you will do will manifest the power. I can witness to that. I've done some things. I, I'm not going to be at liberty to do a whole lot of talking, but... That's why, as, as uh, Brother Kephas mentioned, there's different levels of the spirit. That's why you're not to say you can be that the, 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 the commandments are grade one. It's the lowest level. Obedience to the commandments, law, statutes, and commandments. That, you get taught that when you're a child. Now, in order to walk in the spirits of the spirit, you must walk in spirit and in truth. And the only way to do that is to reject the carnality of this world. So the majority of the people in this world today walk by sight, not by faith, because it's all about what they see and what they can, what they understand and comprehend. Because when something happens that they cannot comprehend, oh, it's witchcraft. Oh, it's voodoo. Oh, it's something else. Oh, what is that? Mm hmm. And it's about to happen. It's this stuff. This stuff right now that's happening. 
You may not have witnessed it, but it's happening because of the movement of Malikis or angels that even us in the Bantu Awakening have spoken of. They won't tell you. Lucifer is not going to announce it, okay? He's not even going to tell the Christians he deceived them. Why? Because he comes in different forms. He comes in different ways. He does not want to be judged. He is trying to stop everything. Like I said, the and the Khazars do not want to be at your feet and other groups supporting them. Okay. Let's see. What did I say? Fourteen. Twelve, sorry. So we go into 14, 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth in me, the works that I shall that do, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father, Yahweh. Congo, okay, the world calls God, okay, and whosoever shall ask in my name, oh, his name is Jesus, I said, Pastor Mel say, yeah, now you can get away with it, because there are people that have spirituality, because they don't do the paganism that goes along with a lot of Christians, but the point is, is that that was you will receive more power when you go by what we call what, by his Bantu name, by his Chuluba connection, by the truth. Not he was not a he was not a Palestinian, so-called Ashkenazi, whatever you want to say, Jew. Okay, you know it's funny. I watched this video movie, and this is how I hate. This is how Hollywood throws it in your face. You had um the Tony Braxton movie when this Jewish guy lost his family and he comes and he finds solace and gratitude. I mean, because if you look at the, the relationship between most black people and the Jewish community, there's a lot of hatred there. People don't realize it. They do not like us. Okay. But here it was in the movie. He was welcomed in by the black church that was showed compassion where they demonstrated exactly what the Most High wants from his own people to do of the sojourner. This is why all these people that are teaching that, oh, you eat a mice and you this and that, da, 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 you're gonna burn or whatever. Okay, you're gonna be dealt with because the Most High says, our role as the Solele or Israel or whatever was to be the example. And this is why we are now the tail and they are the head, pretending to be something that they're not. Even in the Messianic sect. Okay? Because once again, they don't understand. They were converts, not bloodline. The bloodline people scattered themselves, hid themselves, like Pastor Miller talks about all the time, changed the way that they think because they didn't want to be slaughtered by the Romans the same way the converts were. They knew this. Okay? And then he says, and who, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that Tatanzambi be glorified in the Bena. So here's the problem. Are you even doing anything that allows the Father to be glorified? Well, we glorify him as God, as Lord. Wait a minute. <laughs> even the Tokuwe songs were, about, they have songs that are Lingala. Not all of them are Portuguese. A Kikongo, they know we didn't call him that. We didn't call him Deus. This is something that was incorporated through the colonialism of the colonists of the Portuguese. 
as Tatanzambi, Yapowa, Yahoa. Of course, Yahua comes from the Messianic uh, converts, Hamitic Jews, Semitic Jews, uh, not Semitic, um, uh, Ashkenazi Jews, Sephardic Jews. You know, the Most High's name was never Yiddish. Okay, never. Yeshua, no, Yesiah. Oh yeah, you say Yahusha. Uh, or was it yeah uh, uh, yeah how was yeah it's Isaiah okay if you shall ask and and anything in my name I will do it if you ask anything in my name I will do it so he's saying you can ask Kuswa Kongo to do things in his name and he will do it. But he did a lot of the things in the Father's name too. Yahweh, because he has, that's why Masa says this is the deception of so many people. When you have the Mwandan Semi, you have the authority of the Most High. So technically, you that's why Kepa didn't say, or Peter didn't say, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise ye get up. He said, rise ye get up and walk. He said, rise, as this, as this he was the Messiah. Wait a minute. That's blasphemy. That's uh, that's sacrilege. That's this and that. See, that's the, the that is the that is how Satan deceived the whole world because he doesn't want you to understand. You have authority over him and his archangels. You will see them. You will be able to manipulate the things that can be done through the power of the Most High. You can tell the demons to leave, and they will leave. A lot of times you don't understand they're masquerading as an angel of light, just like it says. They won't be masquerading when you have the power. They're gone. See you, bye. I'm out. And then you will see the changes that are done. See? Um, let's go to... What was the scripture I was going to say? Um, let's go to the Amelia. Let's go to the Amelia chapter 10. I'm almost done. We won't go too much longer. This is why we need to pray for healing of our brothers and sisters and to come together in unity and stop with all the division. Because the bottom line is they know that once your your solar or the Banabets are unified, we have the power of the Mwanda and Semi together. That's why it says salvation is of the Yahudi, which is really the Bantu people which is why they don't want us to be coming together because they know that we will then at that point expose. But see, the Most High is already fixing that. He's working on it right now. We're all starting to be, we're all starting to become on one accord and they don't want that. One accord means that's the end. It's over for us because then, but see, the Most High said, it's, it's, it's already in process. We're already working on that. And people don't understand, you have to have faith that the Most High can overcome any enemy that tries to come against him when it needs to be his will be done. Even those who consider to be on his side, which he says, you're not, you're against me. You don't even know. Because your job, your role was to bring you Solele home. And you didn't. All right. Hear ye the word of Tatanzami speaking unto you, a house of you Solele, which is Banabetu. The house of Banabetu Isaela. Isolele, thus says the Tatanzami, the Most High Yah. Learn not the way of the heathen. I've already specified that's the people doing paganism, which many churches have been in the condition to do. Okay, we know for if you have the Moandan Semi, the true Holy Spirit, you will know not to celebrate the 25th of December as his birthday. Because it wasn't even close. I will say this, if you don't want to believe me, I don't care. The Most High has two seasons that he focus, focuses on, the reaping, the sowing and the reaping. When the Messiah was born, he was sowing. When do you sow? In the springtime. And the harvest you're reaping. He was crucified also when he was sowing. 
Why? Because that in, in the Ipa sector, that's when we celebrated the time. He, he brought us out of captivity in Kamata during the time of sowing. I've already gone over the video where you've lied, been lied to. There is no Northern Hemisphere. So therefore, it was all done through the system affiliated with Africa. The sowing season, the reaping season is in April. The sowing season is October, but they flipped the calendar. You see, I have to remember when the, uh, when the Julian calendar was in effect, the world was flat, not round. They subtracted 13 days for the Gregorian calendar so the world could be round. That's what the secret societies did. So you have a Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, North Pole, South Pole. And this is what's going to happen. This is what I'm going to talk about. Be ye not dismayed at the signs of the heaven. For the heathens are dismayed by them. So who's making these signs in the heaven? Lucifer. This is how he, this is why Constantine said, oh, I, by this sign I go forth and conquer. Why all these people in different from the Christianity say, oh, our angels came and spoke to me. Which angel? You don't know. The devil knows the Bible better than you do. So he can always break it into pieces for different versions. But the Most High says, my Bena, ben, the Bena zombie is not divided. It's one body. And this is why so many people have become deceived by Satan and his deception. Because you go to church every Sunday, or you go to wherever you want to go on Saturday, and you haven't understand it. Oh, you're just coming to uh, learn about the Bible. Well, the Bible says, bring you Soleil's house back to the most high it says that but not them who say they are the synagogue this is the reason why the seven assemblies were set up to go search for the lost sheep she said kepa feed my sheep well who are the sheep let's go let's go look at the bread hold on let's finish this real quick and we'll, ah.